Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this episode I want to talk to you about a yeah, simple fix that you can do on your JG Aurora A5. Or isn't it a simple fix? Well, let me explain to you. Um, this JG Aurora A5 has served me very, very well. Uh, this printer does, I think, about two or three prints a day. And uh, it always works flawlessly. Uh, I've scratched the bed and therefore I'm working with paper tape on it. Uh, but well, it works. And I'm very, very happy about it. Even uh, after, well, about a year or so. And even uh, while I have a lot of other printers that I can take to, yeah, to do my printing, but this one is just a workhorse. It's, it's very, very reliable and very good. Until two weeks ago, because two weeks ago, uh, one of my push fittings uh, broke loose from the extruder part. And uh, when that happened, well, the filament was all over the place. So yeah, there was something wrong with that push fitting. I tried gluing in uh, the Bowden tube again, uh, but it didn't work. So uh, I had to buy a new push fitting. And this was when the real struggle began. Because um, when I was reading about this printer, I was reading about a 10 millimeter Bowden coupler. Uh, and those are those uh, push fittings, those couplers. This is what I'm talking about. And uh, I also was reading about the 6mm coupler, I was reading about a 3.8mm, uh, sorry, 3.8 inch uh, coupler. Uh, there were people talking about an M6 coupler. So, yeah, what to do? I didn't really understand it. And then I found out that this printer is made in a whole lot of varieties and all came with different couplers. Um, so, I didn't know which one to buy. Then uh, I measured the original, which was this one, and it was a little less than 10 millimeters. So I said to myself, well, then it must be some non-metric size. And I tried buying a few uh, that maybe could fit. They didn't work out. Uh, then I bought even more and it again didn't work out. And then I said to myself, well, I buy every coupler that I can get on the internet because I became desperate. Uh, I wanted to fix this printer and uh, I couldn't find the correct size, even with the help of JG Aurora, even with the help of the forums and, and the Facebook page. Everyone said something different about the size of this coupler. And in the end, I finally found a 3.8 inch coupler and this was the correct version. So I'm going to install this coupler and then this printer is fixed. But the problem is I can't recommend you which coupler you should have because well a friend of mine who lives uh, next door, uh, he also has this printer but he has a different size coupler. And uh, well there are a lot of people explaining on the internet and on the forums that they all have different size of couplers. So you have to experiment and find out which is the correct size. Now I have the correct size here, so I'm going to install this one. And when it's installed, I can start using my printer again. And well, it's just as simple as screwing it in, in the extruder, then putting the Bowden tube on top of it, and sliding it in. And this is all there is to it. So it was a very, very simple fix. And now this printer is going to be working again. And well, I'm very happy. But you can see how much troubles it can give you if something simple like this breaks and uh, the manufacturer uses all different types of uh, couplers. And this is really something which, which really annoyed me. So I hope that from now on uh, printer manufacturers will use one and the same type of, of parts for their couplers. Uh, because well, it can be very annoying uh, if every printer is a bit different and you can't find any help on the internet, you can't find any help from the manufacturer, etc. So in the end it was a very simple fix. All these couplers all together costed me only $6. Uh, they were very very cheap online. Uh, but yeah, 
I had to buy all of them before I could fix this printer. This is it. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And well, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.